Hi, Father Ian Van Heusen here. So today we reflect on Judas, and we know that God had foreknowledge that Judas would betray him, that our Lord Jesus Christ knew this. He knew beforehand that Judas would betray him. So the question becomes, well, why doesn't Jesus intervene? Why doesn't God do something? Why does he allow Judas to do evil? And it's the mystery of our free will. And the way the saints would put it is, if we are saved, it is a gift of God's mercy. We do not earn our salvation, but God plucks us out of the world. But if we're damned, it is by our own fault, that it is a function of his justice. So in this regard, we need to recognize, and it's a mystery. This mystery might hurt your head. It may be hard to wrap your mind around. But if you've been saved, if you are persevering as a disciple, it is because God is working in your life. And when we fall into sin, that is what we can claim for ourselves. This is a tension. It's mysterious. It's a little bit hard to grasp. But the more you enter into this mystery and realize, yes, Judas had free will. He freely chose to betray our Lord Jesus Christ. And yet, God knew that beforehand. It's a, it's a great mystery, but I want you to think about that today. And so the question is, well, why is this practical? It helps us to grow in humility. The more we realize that everything that we have is good is a gift of God's grace. Now, I know we will say, well, there's free will. Guys, what it is is in each age, some ages, they emphasize God's activity more. Some ages emphasize free will more. In our time, we tend to really overemphasize free will. We're very big on that. We have to recognize God is the primary mover in our life. God is the one who saves us. He's the one who chooses us. He gives us what we need. So realize that with humility, that your salvation was a gift of his mercy. Amen.